Okay. Now, what Mr. Marquez is doing, which is pretty cool, I want you guys so you guys understand that this is something that you could use later, is he's actually doing his lesson. He's going to be broadcasting. It's what we just covered in class, how to set up all this stuff. So in case you, like, blah, your brain, or your computer takes a dump and you have to re-image everything and, and you, like, all the things that you had it, like, remembered, remembered your passwords and all that, He's going to have it all videoed out for you, so you'll be able to go to a website I'm going to give you, and you'll be able to go back and watch him set it all up again. So what we just did, in case you forget, because sometimes you do, uh, we'll be able to do that. Now, we're at this Google sign-in thing. Everyone has signed in. You've accepted. Everyone has accepted? Yeah. Okay, you've accepted. Now, once you've accepted, you go up to the very top, and you go to account. Go ahead and do that now. Click on account. And it says security. You need to find it somewhere in there. It says security. Click it. When you click it, this comes up. Change password. Notice, I changed, bless you, I changed my password over two years ago, which is not good, uh, but the district makes me do it every so often. So that's actually false. Just sit tight for a minute. It could be your computer. Now, has everyone done that? All right. Change your password. Please write down your password on that small little half paper now. Yes. Yes, write down your password on Yes, sir. Okay, so what's your first name? Okay. How come it's just Nelson? Did they did they put you in the by Gus? Okay. Right. Okay, you put four numbers instead of three. Nine four seven. You threw a two in there. So when you don't like to wait, guess what I do? I train you on how to wait. Yes. Oh, no wonder why. Look what it says. 
you needed to cusd at cusdstudent.com. Yes. Okay, I need your undivided attention, please. Three. Um, how many of you? Oh, by the way, some real quick things you guys should know about your laptops, your new ones. Hopefully, they have told you that you need to let them run down near to zero before you charge them. How many of you were told that? Nobody here. Whoa. I was told that. Well, let me explain why real quickly while we're waiting. It's a very important thing, because if you don't, you're basically training your laptop not to take a charge. If you always plug it in before like it gets down to like 10%, so mine's at, oh, actually it's supposed to be like 5%, mine's at 19, so I still got time. So. Now, or 10%, listen, a battery is basically this block that has these things called cells. And the cells charge and discharge energy. They store energy. And so when you plug it in, that's a plug. You plug it in, the energy goes in and it fills this one up, then this one, then this one, then this one, and this one, and they're connected, and it fills them all up. Okay? Is that room clear? Mm -hmm. That would be a hundred percent charge. Got it? When you have 10% left, say there's 10, right? That means there's one left. And then you charge it, then it goes through all of them, and it charges them all the way through again. But if you start charging it when it's at... Six percent. See how quickly it went down? But if you were to charge it, say when it's at 80%, well, that means it's only got these two right here, right? These two get charged up, but these never are allowed to go down. These things stop, stop holding a charge. They just actually act as like a funnel to get the energy down to here. These stop losing the ability to hold a charge. So they are no longer those little round things that, that hold stuff. It just becomes like what's called a conduit. It just basically pushes the energy to where it belongs. Everyone understand that? Mm -hmm. Charging and, uh, and, un, and, and basically draining the charge helps it kind of like realize what it's supposed to be doing. It actually, it actually, uh, changes the battery. The batteries learn how to hold a charge and discharge. Discharge means it knows how to use the energy. So if you don't do that, guess what happens? Your battery will always be plugged in. Your computer will always have to be plugged in. And that, what's the use of a laptop that always has to be plugged in? It's not a laptop anymore. That's a what? Desktop. It's a desktop. Second of all, I want you guys to take a look at your computer. It has these things like little slits in it, and it, try to feel around your computer like there's a little air coming out somewhere. Everyone feel it? Like a little warm air? Yeah. Yours not. Yeah, I know. Now, unless you have a tablet, there's like little there's little slits on your computer. Look around like there's like little openings. Some of them are on the very very bottom. Now. I want you to think about the, the two little slits in your face that allow air to go in and out. All right, now, I would like you to pinch one, cover the other. No, you're not covering it because I can hear you. Hold it longer. 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 Just kidding. All right. You get the idea. Your computer needs to breathe. So when you put your laptop on your bed and your little comforter covers up those, or you put it on your lap, like it gets kind of hot, so you put it on top of a pillow, and it covers those, what do you think it's going to do to your laptop? 
No, it's going to actually overheat because that that little that little air that's coming out is trying to keep the hot air from the discharging of energy away from computer parts. What if you don't? What if you always block it? It's going to overheat, and the little transistors and everything inside are going to basically not work anymore. That's up to you, though. Your parents are hyper wealthy. They're, they won't. They'll, they'll like. Oh, it's okay. I'll buy you a new one tomorrow. Raise your hand if your parents just say, "I'll just buy you a new one tomorrow." You ruined it. It's okay. No, I'll take care of it. How many of you think that will be an argument? Excellent. Hopefully, he gets another one. Today, right? When you bust out. <laughs> so, you guys want to make sure you take care of your laptops. Um, just to recognize that all computer parts get warm. They get hot. My son left his eye touch in our car during the summer on a very hot day. Do you think it worked when he grabbed it out? No. What did it say? It said cool down. It temperature. It said temperature. Yeah. He could not use it. He was like, what happened? It still works. I'm like, listen, genius. <laughs> it was too hot in the car. And he's like, oh. Do you like staying in the car when it's hot? No. Neither did it. I put it in the freezer. Yeah, it works now. Question. What do you mean? You just changed your password and now you have the wrong password? Uh, just make sure you're typing it in right. I'll be over there in a second. So, everyone got that so far? We all change our password. We're not me, just wait. I finally got the <laughs> Of course, right here where it says, uh, if you're ready to finish with that, and it says go to account, and it, it should show a spot where you can change your picture. You can put a different picture in if you'd like. Go to account. If we were in security. Go to account. And it says edit your profile, and you can find a new picture. I'm coming around to help. Take care of Google and we'll let you do it, but that's fine. All right, I need you guys with me again. So if you guys can put your uh, fist into your uh, laptop for a minute. Whatever you want, man. How do you know it did it? Will it go back to the password? Do purple monkey dishwasher. What? Purple monkey dishwasher. What about beef chicken over? No, why would you do that? I don't know. Chris? Chris? Yeah. My kids are trying to sign up for their Google and um, log in, and it's asking them for a phone number. It, it shouldn't. Uh, here, let me just send you something real quickly. Okay. Uh, do you have the, uh, the step? Step-by-step -step instructions. Yeah, the group chat. Do you have that one? Yeah, said, they were going there. Um, if it's asking them that, then it's not the CSD uh, account or CSD student. Account. They need to make I'm sure. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. 
Say it again. Uh, they need to log in to their Google account by typing their first initial, last name, three digits, at cusdstudent.com. Yeah, yeah, I got that. And then, so, okay. So there's... Uh, that PowerPoint I just sent you uh, kind of details a, a walkthrough. Okay. What that'll do is... What's that? Okay. All right. Now I need your eyes in about attention quick, real quickly. We're going to go over something called Google Drive. Google Drive is what's going to be a big deal to you because it'll keep all your work together. Keeping all your work together is something that's going to be necessary for you because otherwise those of you who are at Alta and you don't keep your work together, we'll have lunch together. And I don't want you to have lunch wherever else you go because I do know the uh, lunch attention teacher over at uh, Granite, over at Clark, Kasner, and over at uh, Rayburn. So please avoid them. Turn in your work. So what you're going to do is up here at the very top of the ribbon, there are some things you need to know. Number one, please don't look. I just need your hand in it. I'm going to show you and then you can go. So please close your lid, or excuse me, put your fist in it. Okay, at the top there's this ribbon, and it basically tells you all the things you need to do. Number one, you can search. If you need to go back to Google and you just want to search something, there it is. You can go to images, so any images that you're going to look for, it's going to search just for images. Now the next thing is a Google Drive. Now a Google Drive has basically all the information that I've ever really need I want to keep forever and I don't want to lose. Now, once you put something in, you can take something out. Totally doable. However, but guess what? It's impossible to delete something on accident. How many of you ever said you're working on a computer and you deleted something on accident? Guess what? Can't happen with Google Drive. You would actually have to do it on purpose. And so when you tell your teacher, I don't know, I saved it to Google Drive and I can't find it, you are lying. You're a big fat lipped liar. So just so you know, don't lie. I despise liars. That's why I love technology. Because it never ever lies. Well, actually, you can't because you can Photoshop stuff. Like that, but that's, that's totally different. Totally different. All right. Yes. Now, I want to point out to you, Google Drive is a, this red button that says create. You can create these different programs. Number one, you can make a new folder. We're going to make a folder here in a minute. A folder is where you can put stuff. Now, if you put a folder for all your science stuff and all your history stuff, all your literature stuff, all your math stuff, guess what? Will you ever lose anything? Will it be easy to find? Even if you don't do that, guess what? It's easy to find. Because this little bar right here would search for anything in your Google Drive. So, should you ever lose anything? No. Could your dog eat your homework? Unless he, yes, unless he eats your laptop, but you can get on another laptop and still open your Google Drive. So take that, Fido. Unless you forget, yes, unless you forget, then guess what? Just go, go find a, you know, a cave and go live in there, because what's the point, right? All right. So first of all, we're going to be able to create. You're going to create a folder. You're going to be creating a folder that's called Laptop. The thing that we're going to be doing is going to be in that folder, Laptop Camp. And see, notice I have a couple laptop camps. So i got to make sure that this one is empty. That one is empty, so I will go back to it, and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to delete it very easily because I just want to do that. This one has stuff in it, so guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to actually put a star next to it because that's the one I want to keep. 
So, you don't like dream vacations? Dream vacations. I need to. Remove. There. Now, so what we're going to be doing is opening it up, go to the ribbon, find drive. I'm giving you permission to drive and create your first folder laptop. Yes, do that. If it tells you to download it, do it. It should look like this. Yes. I'll explain here in a minute. Up here. Your first thing you needed to do was hit create. 
The box pops open, it says folder, and then it says a whole bunch of other things. Everyone done folder. Wait, All right. Anyone not be able to create a folder yet? You can, yes. Syncing just basically makes everything connected. Okay, are you okay? Or? All right. All right. Real quickly, take a look up here. Chase, you're the only one? You know what to do, though? All right. So I'm not going to move on too quickly. I just want you guys to understand. Now, the next thing. We are going to click on that laptop folder. We are going to create a document. Creating a document. Looks just like this. Now, this is a Word document. A simplistic Word document it is very simple, very easy to do anything you need to do anywhere. Now, what's great about this is you don't even need the internet to use this. Can you not take pictures of yourself, please? Me? Okay. Is your phone still on? If you want to do those little fish face pictures, do that at home, please. In the privacy of your own mirror. Yes. All right. Let's go back real quickly. Just kind of look. If you hit create, I need your invited attention, folks. I need your hand, your fists, and your laptops. As long as I've been teaching AB, which is uh, history and literature, your AB class, I have only used these basic programs. Document, which is a Word document. A presentation, which is PowerPoint. Spreadsheet, form, well, that I'm not going to have you use. And drawing, which is basically a paint uh, program. Basically, all those things are useful to you and you're going to be able to use them online or offline. So let me kind of explain something to you real quickly. On this, down here on this side, it has, you go further down, it has things that you are starred, which means they are very important to you. You have recent items, and then there's a thing called more. Now, I don't need you to do anything yet. I want you to take a look at it. But right here, let me make it a little bit larger. I'm on this little, right here on the side, it says offline, right where it says, let, well, it should say more. You're going to open it up, and it's going to say less. And we're going to click on offline. Offline will allow you to get stuff done on your computer, even when there is no internet connection. Stop, please, because you shouldn't even be on it because your laptop should be closed. Well, he's trying to get set up. That's why I'm not saying anything to him. It has this offline button to where you can get stu stuff completely done when there's no internet connection. So what it is is allowing you to remove all the excuses of, oh, I didn't have the internet. Oh, I, did, I, I can't find it. When I was a kid, it was pretty easy to get away with not doing your homework. Guess what? Get into the first one.
Did that all? Did you get it all to work out, Miss Finch? She muted me. Oh, fine. Oh, you're Chris? Chris? Yeah. I'm still having some kids that still can't log in. Is there anybody running around? You know, Mandy's at my door. Hang on. Yeah, try Mandy, but she don't know very much. She's like the sister I never wanted.
a thing. Hmm. Okay. So, did it still mess up? Okay. Some of you may not be able to sign in. For right now, we're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to leave your slips with us, and we're going to double check to make sure they didn't accidentally input your name incorrectly. Okay, if it's ripped, don't worry about it. You could, there's a magical new thing called tape. We're going to go ahead and, and let you borrow some of that. Okay, so if you have not been able to sign in, just raise them up in the air, wave them like you just don't care. How come you didn't raise your hand? You were playing games. You weren't raising your hand. Huh? How many times did you try? Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and take it. Raise your hand and they'll do it. Now, if... I'll wait. I'll wait. Now, for security purposes, I do not want you to keep your ID number as your password. Because if somebody knows you, they know your first name, they know your last name, and then they'll know your ID number. Or you're walking around campus and you drop your ID card, the first thing they're going to do is go on to Google and type that in to see if you forgot to change your password. So we're going to change it. Okay? To do that, you're going to... Let me turn this over. In the upper right-hand corner, there should be your name. Okay? It should have your name at cusdstudent.com. There should be a little arrow next to your name. You're going to click on that arrow. And then it's going to give you the option of account or privacy. We're looking at your privacy. So click on privacy. Now you should be on a screen kind of like this. Okay? You're going to want to go to... Oh, they, they're asking you to change privacy policies. Let's scroll down real quick. All the way down to the bottom. That doesn't ask you to click yes or anything? Okay. Actually go back. Just click the back button. It's right here in the, in the far left. It's a little arrow with the back button. Just click back. And instead of clicking on privacy, click on account. Click on account. Now under account, click on off to the left. There should be a little thing that says security. Now click on that. There we go. So once again, I'm going to backtrack. You should have clicked on Accounts. After you clicked on accounts, scroll down on the left-hand side. There should be a button that says security. Click on security, and you should see a thing that says password. You are going to want to change your password by clicking on change password. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask for your current password. Who knows their current password? Yeah, we should all know it, right? So go ahead and type in that ID number. Type that in. After that, it's going to ask you to make one. Now remember, very important, your password is case sensitive. That means uppercase letters matter. I highly recommend you have one uppercase somewhere and then one symbol, like a dollar sign, or a question mark, or an exclamation mark. Okay, I recommend you have those two things in there somewhere. Okay? So you do not forget your password. Guess what we have on this paper? A place for you to write down your password. Is it okay to share your password with your neighbor just in case you forget it? No. 
It is not okay because you're friends right now, but when Debbie wears the same shoes you do on the first day of school and she's upset with you, she might sign into your account. Don't share your password. Is it okay to share your password with your parents? Yes, it is okay to share your password. In fact, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Once you've done it, make sure you write down your new password on your sheet. On your sheet. Uh, should still let you. There we go, right there. Let's hit reload. Something's maybe wrong with the page. There. Do you want us to um, change password? Yes. And then I'll, I'll fix you in a second. And once you've done it, click on Change Password. Now, if you forget it, you're not going to be able to log back in. Okay? So, before there's any questions, I'm going to kind of recap really quick, and then I'm going to ask you to do something for us so that just in case you do forget it, and then your dog eats your paper, and you didn't have time to tell your parents your password, we still have a way to help you. Okay, but once again, after you signed in, you should have clicked on accounts. After you clicked on accounts, you should have clicked on security. After you clicked on security, you should have clicked on change password. After you clicked on change password, it should have asked for your current password, which was your ID number. Then you change your password. You have to type it in twice so that it makes sure you're typing it in correctly both times. And once you've done that, you're going to click Change Password. Okay? Now, I'm going to get to questions in a second, but I, I need those of you who are at that point, those of you who are at that point, I want you to go back to our website, the CUSD website, Okay, and if you forgot how to get there, once again, it's on your white sheet of paper. Okay, it's written there. Go back to that website, and there's a button at the top. It's the third button that says Laptop Student Form. Okay, I want you to click on that, and there's a quick little form that asks for your last name, your first name, what class are you in? You're in the AM class. It is not yet PM. It's going to ask you to type in your new email address. It's called username or email. I want you to type that in as well. It's what you wrote on that white piece of paper. Please include the at cusdstudent.com. It is then going to ask you who your instructor is. You can put down Marquez, because that's my name. You can put down Hawks, because she's in here too. You can put down Engelbert, because she's in here too. Okay, but my name's first, so that's the easiest probably. And then it's going to ask you really quick. Above it, it's going to ask for your password. That is very important. That is the password you just changed to not your student ID number, the password you just changed to. Does capitalization matter? Yes, in your password, capitalization matters. So if you put down your doggy's name, Spotty, and you put a capital S, it matters that it's capital S the entire time. So make sure you put down your password, then you put down your instructor, and then finally the last thing, we kind of just want to know, what you're using. Most of you, actually all of you in here are Windows 8. Okay, so the majority of you should be clicking on the first one. Some of you may be using a tablet. Make sure you choose the Windows tablet. And then all you do is hit Submit. 
We are going to be walking around helping you out, anything that you need. Um, so right now, that's what we're doing. We are your tech support at this moment. Okay, so if you need help, raise your hand. If you're one of those that could not sign in using your password, we should have collected your sheet so we can double check to make sure everything was correct in the system. Okay, so we're going to come around right now. Yes. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, because you're, you're on the wrong one. We want to connect to that one. That's right. It, it did it itself. It's not your fault. Yes. And then once you are done with the form, just hit submit. Okay, just hit submit. Um, if you are not able to sign in, I would still like you to fill out this form, but we're in, when it asks for your password, uh, just put your ID number. Okay, so if you were not able to sign in, I would still like you to fill out this form, but you will not have to put in your new password. Just put down your ID number, and we're going to double check for you why it wasn't working. Yeah. Uh, Connie, was, it's 11, right? Yeah? Okay. So, once again, if you need help, I'm going to be here all day. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? So, you need help, you can stay here and get that extra help. Remember, all of this is being, all this was recorded. You can go back home and double check anything that we did. All the Windows video, Windows 8 videos that we showed you are all on this website. You can go back and review them as well. So if you are comfortable with your, if you've done your form, you've changed your password, and you're happy with what you've done so far, thank you so much for coming, and we will definitely see you tomorrow. If you need extra help, stay seated, and we'll be coming around. Oh, right. When you're at home, you're going to want to go, you, you're going to want to do it. But here, just hit postpone. Anybody over here need help? No, 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 no. If, if you were able to sign in, you keep them. Yeah. Keep your white papers with you. Keep your white papers, unless we collected them, keep them with you. Okay, so we get, make sure we double check that they're connected to the Akamai with a capital A, not a lowercase a. Yes. Because yes. a couple of them over here, it kicked them to the lowercase a, and it's very slow. You're good. You're all set. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need it's, that's your attendance. Yeah, that's your. That means you were here. Yes. Once everything is done, you may go ahead and take off. Okay. So you you're using a computer, right? So that's what you and you are you Windows 8, right? So you want to click that one, and then submit. You know, there was another student that had that exact same problem. Okay, so for right now, it, it's still the same password that you have right on here, right? The ID number. Okay, go ahead and keep it at that for right now. And when you go home, try to change it again. Okay. okay. Yeah, go ahead and fill out the form. But... um. Just put down this password, and then tomorrow when you've changed it, just come let me know. Okay, were you able to sign in at all? Oh, because they're not matching. So it has to be the exact same password on both of them. No, 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 the current password. 
your new password and, the, and then re redo your new password again.